I spoke to former U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton about what could happen next. I asked about the Biden administration's handling of the war and whether Israel will be held accountable for the death of the world's central kitchen aid workers. We also spoke about what that Israeli airstrike in Syria could mean for regional security. Listen in. This is not a Gaza versus Israel war or a Palestinian versus Israel war or an Arab versus Israel war. This is an Iranian war against Israel fought through terrorist proxies. Uh, and, uh, and, and the fact that Iran has not yet been held to account for any of it uh, suggests that we're still in the very early stages of the war. Now, we'll see what happens. But I think if people don't see the strategic reality that Iran is drawing what it calls its ring of fire strategy around Israel, uh, which it also calls the little Satan, through the terrorist proxies like Hamas, like the Houthi, like Hezbollah, like the Shia militia groups in Iraq and Syria, then we're not going to appreciate the difficulty not just Israel finds itself in, but many of the Arab states as well. What we've also seen is this airstrike in Damascus, certainly perhaps changing the calculus here as well. What do you think this means for the security situation in the region? And would you say that we are on track for a direct confrontation between Israel and Iran as a result? Well, I think a direct confrontation has been underway since October the 7th. And uh, I think uh, what Israel has done is finally somebody has crossed an Iranian red line because of the convention that diplomatic uh, premises are uh, territory of the of the uh, embassy in question uh, and because Iran has violated the laws of war to the extent people care about it when Iran does it by using a diplomatic facility as a military headquarters which turned it into a legitimate military target so we'll see what Iran does uh, after the devastation they have uh, unleashed across the region see if they're prepared to go further